town market is buzzing with life. Farmers, carpenters, butchers, and bakers. Everyone is selling and buying. And the price of each item fluctuates depending on the supply and demand, but within a reasonable range. It's just a normal, everyday market. One day, a wealthy merchant entered the market. An old man who is dressed well. You can tell how rich he is just by looking at him. And after wandering around the market for a while, he saw a poor farmer with a buggy full of hay dragged by a donkey. That's a nice donkey you have there. Thank you, sir. Uh, how much you want for the donkey? I'm sorry, sir, but the donkey is not for sale. I need it to pull my buggy. Well, I want the donkey. Again, sir, the donkey is not for sale. If you want to buy some hay, I'm more than happy to sell you. Look, I'll give you five gold coins for the donkey. And the poor farmer was shocked. He knew a donkey is only worth one gold coin. And this idiot rich man wants to buy the donkey for five coins? You know what that means. Ka ching So the farmer agreed, and the rich merchant bought the donkey for five gold coins. And the farmer later bought another donkey for one gold coin and kept four gold coins as a profit. It was his lucky day. However, the next day, the rich merchant showed up again. Oh, you see, you have a new donkey. Yes, sir, I do. I want to buy it from you. Sir, why do you want to buy my donkey so bad? Uh, I need it for a farm. So what do you say? Five gold coins? Yeah, it's a deal. And so the farmer again sold his donkey for five coins. He is over the moon. This is the easiest and most profitable trade he ever made. Now the next day, the rich merchant showed up again, asking the farmer to buy his donkey again. However, the farmer got a little greedy and started thinking, <laughs> this idiot is willing to pay whatever I ask. Let's see how much more I can get out of him. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but this donkey right here was hard for me to find. And it's a bit expensive, too. So uh, I don't think five gold coins are going to cut it this time. Okay, how much do you want? Uh, seven gold coins. Deal. And again... The rich merchant bought the donkey, and the farmer is in shock. Day after day, the rich merchant bought donkeys from the farmer. And every day, the farmer raised the prices, just to see to what extent is this rich man is willing to pay for donkeys. The price of donkeys kept on rising, from 7 to 10 to 15 gold coins. And other people in the market heard of this trade as well and started offering their own donkeys to the rich man. And you would think with the increase of supply, the price will drop, but no. The rich merchant was willing to pay more and more. 20, 40, imagine 40 gold coins for a worthless donkey. And that kept going until there were no more donkeys left. And the next day, the rich merchant came again, asking the farmer for a donkey. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, there are no more donkeys. I see what you're doing. You want more. Okay, fine. 
How much do you want? 50? 60? Really? You will pay 60 for a donkey? Yes, just get me one. And the next day, the rich merchant came again, but the farmer could not supply. Are you toying with me? I need that donkey. How much do you want? Fine, I'll give you 100 for it. I'm sorry, sir, that there are no more donkeys around. Every day, the rich merchant kept coming, asking, begging people for donkeys. He offered 200 gold coins, but nothing. Then when he was fed up, he stood in the middle of the town's market and said, Everyone, listen, whoever gets me a donkey, I will pay him 500 gold coins. Donkeys now are more expensive than gold. Sadly, there were no more donkeys around. A few weeks went by. Then one day, a young boy walked into the market with two donkeys. Everyone in the market flocked to him, begging him to sell them their donkeys. I will give you 50, I will give you 100, 150, 200. Yes, he sold each donkey for 200 gold coins. And as he was walking out of the market, shocked at the sale, another merchant from the market approached him. Hey, uh, do you have any more donkeys? I can find some. How many do you need? Really? Oh, okay. Uh, can you get me more than one, like, uh, like 10? But hey, keep this a secret. Nobody knows about it. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Just give me your address and I will deliver them to you tonight. Hey, do you have more donkeys? I sure do. How many you want? Sweet. 20, please. But nobody knows, okay? I will deliver them to your house tonight. And the young boy kept making secret deals with each one of the merchants. For 200 gold coins apiece, he was selling tens of donkeys to each and delivering them all at night. And the next morning, everyone showed up to the market with their donkeys, waiting for the rich merchant to come so they can collect on their profit. But he didn't come. They waited days but he never showed up. Why? Well, because whenever the rich merchant bought any donkey, he kept it in a farm outside of town. And every time they raised the price, he didn't argue, driving the price of donkeys even further. While he filled his farm with donkeys, then when there were no more donkeys to be found, he sent his son, with two donkeys as bait because he knew how greedy all these people are. And in one night, he sold all his donkeys again to the same people, but for 200 gold coins apiece. The merchant and his son got all the money and they skipped town, leaving everyone with worthless donkeys. What is the price of any item? What makes a stock go up or down? It all boils down to supply and demand. If the supply of oil, for example, drops for some reason, the price will go up and vice versa. However, everything we consume has a reasonable range of value. When it exceeds that range, something wrong is going on. If a company that is supposed to go bankrupt experience a rise in their stock pricing, something wrong is going on. 
And when a consumable item price triple or quadruple in a matter of days or weeks, something wrong is going on. A person or an entity is behind it, blowing up the bubble. Then one day, boom, the person cash out on an inflated commodity after draining everyone's savings. Just remember, this is just a metal. This is just a rock. And this, well, this is just nothing.